Naftali Bennett, thanks for joining us uh, on CBN News. In a few days, uh, there's going to be an election here in Israel. Do you see yourself as a possible kingmaker, and do you see a path for you to become prime minister? Well, I'm running uh, to become prime minister of, uh, of the state of Israel. It's a huge responsibility. We, you know, the, the country is 72 years old. We continue to be threatened by, uh, you know, some of the worst countries in the world. The main thing is to, to focus on, on caring about the people. You know, there's so much uh, politics and, and everything has been uh, sort of hijacked by politics. And I want to sort of take that all aside and say, let's focus. Let's cut taxes, cut bureaucracy, speed up the economy in a Reaganesque uh, uh, way. Uh, at the same time, we need to um, take care of uh, the South, the Negev, which has been uh, uh, sort of uh, taken by uh, some Bedouin uh, uh, gangs and uh, uh, restore Israel's uh, power uh, and uh, uh, you know, retaliation abilities. Yeah, we see that uh, Iran right now is uh, enriching uranium up to 20%, one level below uh, <clears throat> weapons grade uranium. But do you see a scenario where Israel would have to take military action to, uh, to stop Iran's nuclear program? All options are on the table. Um, we certainly prefer the peaceful option, uh, diplomatic option. War is a bad thing. I fought in wars. I lost my best friend in, in the, the Second Lebanon War. Uh, we don't want war. But there's one thing that's worse than war, and it's a uh, nuclear Iran. A nuclear Iran means a nuclear Middle East. It means we have the craziest, most radical tyrannies in the world with nuclear weapons. That's something the, the free world cannot accept, certainly not Israel. How much of a threat do you see Hezbollah? We were just on the border just a few days ago as well. Apparently now they have over 100,000 rockets. Hezbollah um, thinks that it can uh, um, separate itself from the Lebanese infrastructure and uh, people. But in fact, when there's a, a home that hosts a rocket, that home is not a residential home anymore. It's a terror base. And uh, I would want to emphasize to the Lebanese people that Iran equals Lebanon. We're not going to make a differentiation because when my kids, my four kids, are threatened by uh, these rockets, we're going to fight back and uh, it, it would spell massive destruction in Lebanon. And uh, that would be something that uh, Nasrallah would inflict on the Lebanese people in order to uh, uh, make well with Ayatollahs a thousand kilometers to the east. I don't see why a Lebanese citizen would agree to incur suffering uh, in order to please some mullahs that are, you know, immune over there. That doesn't make sense. The big development here in the Middle East has been the Abraham Accords. Uh, do you also see the possibility of declaring sovereignty over parts of Judea and Samaria? even after the uh, Abraham Accords seeming uh, bearing fruit right now? The Abraham Accords are great. Uh, they are not a result of anything that has to do with the Palestinians. They're a result of, of the region, the, the Arab nation uh, and Arab countries understanding that Israel is here to stay. Uh, it took, took a few years for, for uh, folks to realize it. And they also understand the, the benefit of a strong Israel. A strong Israel means good commerce, it means high-tech, it means we can create a, a regional alliance to uh, uh, fend off uh, Iran. Do I think uh, we need to apply uh, Israeli rule and, and law on uh, uh, the Israeli areas in, in Judea and Samaria? Yes. Uh, what's the precise timing? You know, we got to be uh, uh, practical and, and engage with our friends and discuss these sort of things. So I, I don't want to set expectations that will happen tomorrow. I think we had four years that we could have done it and we didn't do it. Uh, I think that's a shame, but it's part of Israel. It's, uh, it's been Jewish land for yeah, now 3,800 years. So if we wait a few more years, uh, it'll be okay. I'm the guy who came up with the sovereignty plan. I believe it was in 2011 when everyone was down that very bad path of a Palestinian state. Uh, we're not going to allow a, a full-blown Palestinian state to be formed between the Jordan River and the Mediterranean. I'm not going to give up land. Um, I do respect the Arabs living in Judea and Samaria. They, you know, 
deserve uh, uh, human dignity and, and uh, to, to pursue happiness. And uh, we can do that. And there's ways to, to work through this. But the wrong way is to sever the land of Israel. It, it never does good. Whenever you cut off pieces of Israel, hand it over to our enemies, they turn it into advanced bases and, and shoot rockets at us. So, someone's telling us, don't, don't, don't give up the land of Israel. Yeah, final questions. Uh, first of all, how important is uh, Christian Zionism uh, supporting Israel? They seem to have a great effect in helping uh, the embassy move here from Tel Aviv to Jerusalem. And uh, what do you see in the, in the election? As a commando fighter and, com and commander, uh, when you're out there fighting um, evil, evil, uh, people who are out to destroy everything we believe in. And when you know that there's some good people out there in America that care about Israel, that care about the, the Jewish nation, oh man, it means a lot. It does. So first of all, I want to thank the, the viewers and, and I, I know uh, of your deep support. Uh, what's going to be with the elections? Let's wait. Uh, I, I, I do hope that I'll have the opportunity to... Uh, uh, be in a key role to influence the future of the Jewish nation. Neftali Bennett, thank you, and the Paz Thank you very much. Appreciate it.